our CES 2018 coverage is proudly powered by Amazon. Help support our content by going to PlugHitsLive.com slash Amazon. Hi, I'm Marissa Sherrick here at CES 2018 with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. I'm here with James Parker, the VP of Electron. So what can you tell me about what's next to me? Yeah, so we have the Electron wheel here. It's an all-in-one front wheel replacement that allows you to convert your traditional existing bike into an e-bike in 30 seconds. Um, so we have a 400-watt motor, 36-volt battery system, and smart sensors all self-contained. Um, which are going to work together to take you up to 20 miles an hour, give you a range of up to 50 miles, and also connect with a smart app for expanded functionality. Well, that's great. So the idea of turning your regular bike into an e-bike in under 30 seconds, that's a new thing. That's no one's heard of that before, right? Yeah, it is new. So they're, e-bikes have been around for a long time, uh, but the, the concept with Electron Wheel is that we're sort of this hybrid product um, that gives you all the benefits of an e-bike and having the electric assist, but still having the flexibility and the choice to take the wheel off and go back to your traditional bike. Because uh, there certainly are, are occasions where it's, it's going to be, you know, desire to have a lightweight sort of traditional bicycle versus the a little bit heavier electric bike with the assist. So Electron Wheel gives you sort of like uh, unprecedented flexibility in terms of converting a traditional bike into an e-bike. Um, on your front wheel, 30 seconds, really simple. So where are some examples people can use the wheel for? Yeah, so it's, it's great for sort of a, a young professional in a city, uh, someone who's wanting to commute to work, um, looking for an alternative to the car or public transport. Um, Electron Wheel is a great way to, to sort of use the existing bike that you probably have in the garage or, or closet um, and give it a new life. It's also great for someone who's looking to recreate on the weekends. Um, this is a, a sort of really fun way to make your bike ride go further and faster than it did before. Uh, it's also really great for, for someone who might have um, some sort of physical challenge or uh, challenge preventing them from riding the bike. Um, we have some customers who are avid cyclists who had some kind of injury and they weren't able to get back on the bike, but with Electron Wheel, um, it sort of gave them that extra little bit of assist um, to, to sort of break that barrier and get back on the bicycle. So it really speaks to, to anyone from a, a novice cyclist just looking to get on the bike um, to a, a really experienced cyclist wanting to sort of go further and faster and, and sort of push their, their limits. Okay, so part of this also is you have an app, yeah. which you have an announcement, right? We do, yeah. So we're really excited to be uh, launching an integration with Google Assistant. And so the Google Assistant is going to allow you to be riding your bike with your headphones connected to our app. Uh, and you can basically interact and change behavior of your wheel just through your voice. So we're really excited to kind of take that experience from the connected car, or the smart home, and bring it to the bicycle. Um, I think we're, we're one of the first, if not the first e-bike to, to integrate with voice command technology. Um, so, so we're really excited about it. And you're going to be able to do things like toggle between assist levels. So you can choose to ride in low mode, normal mode, or high mode, um, depending on how much assist you want that day. You can also uh, see a real-time readout of your battery life, your speed, distance, duration, um, as well as map your rides. Wow, so you're having a partnership with Google, and that's pretty amazing. How does this work, like the full technology of it? Because I know there's also a pedal uh, part of this, too. Yeah, so, we have a, so everything is inside the wheel except for one piece, which is our wireless pedal sensor. And so that's going to install on the, on the crank uh, via Velcro really simply. Basically, when you start to pedal, the motor's going to engage, and when you stop, the motor stops. So it's a really intuitive riding experience. You almost forget that you have an electron wheel on. You just feel like a much stronger rider. Um, in addition to your cadence, the wheel's also understanding your incline. So if you're on a hill, it's going to give you a little bit more assist than if you're on flats or a decline. So yeah, really sort of simple and intuitive riding experience. You don't have a throttle. Don't really change the way that you're riding the bike. You're just uh, enabled and empowered to sort of go further and faster. And that's really good because you say you can turn this on and off during your ride. One of my questions is, does this like, this is, I was able to carry a wheel of this with just this on it. It's a little bit heavy. Does it like hinder when you're riding it with it off? Does it add like a weight or how's the ride when it's off? Yeah, so there, there, there certainly is a little bit more weight added because of the motor and the batteries and everything inside this unit. Uh, but for most users below speeds of 20 miles an hour, it's really going to be a marginal impact on your ride experience. If you start going faster than 20, you're going to notice a little bit of a wider turning radius and things like that. Uh, but uh, to your question about riding with the wheel off, um, the wheel has a clutch inside. So basically, if you, if you turn the power off, 
um, it's going to freewheel. So there's not going to be any resistance from the motor. Um, the only resistance is going to be from the uh, additional weight. Okay, so it's not going to have that much of an impact when it's off. So this thing is really helpful for when riding the bike. You said more for city users and things like that. So as a people living in the city, what's the price of this product? So MSRP is $799. Uh, so for context, the average e-bike price um, in 2017 in the U.S. was over $1,800. So we're one of the lowest entry points into the e-bike space, uh, but we're still sort of delivering uh, comparable specs to a two, three, four thousand dollar e-bike system. Um, but we think with the added value and sort of the really unique uh, proposition of having the flexibility to use the bike that you already own and love um, and, and make it an e-bike. Well, thank you so much. Is there a website people can go to to find out more information? Yeah, for sure. So you can check out more information at electronwheel.com. Um, we're available for pre-order right now. We should start sipping in uh, February. And we're also available uh, at bestbuy.com and select Best Buy locations. So you just made the announcement of the Google Assist. When can people look to when that is coming out? Yeah, it's a good question. We haven't announced yet the timeline for release of the integration, uh, but we're working hard to, to release, that, um, release that this year for sure. Well, thank you so much, James. Thank you. This is Marissa Sherrick at CES 2018 here at the Electron Booth.